Are you here to volunteer for more shifts? No, I was just here to see how this one was getting on. I'm fine. I don't believe you. Are you getting sick and pretending you're not? Typical male, either in total denial or total man flow. He hasn't told you, has he? It's not the sort of thing you make polite conversation about around the water cooler. What's happened? He's got his old army buddy, Warren. We came home last night to find him on the couch in the living room, dead. That's awful. Was he staying with you? No, it's only one of the weird things about it. You should have said something. It's not a big deal. Sounds like one. Well, if you two absolutely must discuss this, I'll leave you to it. I've got patience to see. I'm so sorry for what I said to Nicole. I feel terrible. Why? It's the truth. You think I botched Dallas's operation and made a bad situation worse for both of you? I don't feel like that all the time. It's just when people talk about how good you are. I did my best for Dallas. I know, but I can't help wishing that things had turned out differently, and sometimes it comes out the wrong way. I'm sorry. I don't want this to come between us. Oh, neither do I, Zoe, but... No buts. Please. I'll make up to you for what I said. Oh, don't be stupid. It's me that needs to make it up to you. I may have done my best, but it wasn't good enough, and I understand the strain that puts you under. And now here I am, trying to make my big career break. Your help means the world to me, Chris. Please don't take it away. If you're sure you still want me on your team. I do. Well, then, of course. Whatever you want. You only have to ask. Thank you. 300 bucks for a passport. I told you. you know what? That's on top of what I'm going to have to pay to get my tickets changed. I mean, OK, so what happens when you finally get to Sydney? I mean, where are you going to live? Are you going to eat? Oh, Maxwell flicked me some cash. Should do me for like a week or two. But after that, well, your Indopost should be paying for your relocation cost. So did you get it in your contract? Uh, right, well, ask for an advance then. You'll have to. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's, if he hasn't given the job to somebody else, I mean, does he know you're going to be waiting in Sydney? Oh, uh, not yet. <sighs> have you heard about your visa application? No. <laughs> Man, get it sorted, will you? What the? Morning. I get it all the time. <laughs> not you, you dick. Just ignore him. It's not worth it. <laughs> Do they see me? I hope not. They might have thought I was with you. <laughs> What's going on? I'm doing my instrument layer. You're not even supposed to be here. From one o'clock I am. I was back early from lunch, so I thought I'd get onto it. Cervical laminectomy, right? That's it. Man, you must have misread the roster. I'm scrubbing in on this one. I don't think so. Do you want to find about it? No, I just want to do my job. So drop the attitude. Let's check the schedule, shall we? Let's. You better scrub back in then. Happy to. Maya told me about Scotty's mate. Tell him he shouldn't be at work. He's obviously not coping. I don't suppose you've heard from him. Uh, maybe his sales not working in Sydney. Mm. Well, I've still got half his stuff. I don't know whether to send it or who to send it to. If he gives me an address, I'll pass it on. Thank you. On my tab, please. Sure. You can tell how worried she is, eh? Tira? Oh, she always looks a bit strung out. Yeah, because Daniel always treats her like dirt. He still hasn't told her that he's here. He's not going to either. Well, TK's over there, tell him. I can't. Daniel saw me to secrecy. Fair enough. You, on the other hand. No way. None of my business. So you're going to leave Sarah stressing out while her son's sleeping on your couch? What do you want me to do? Talk to him. Or at least try, he might listen to you. One's a broke brat to another. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I know what it's like not to have a mother around. He doesn't know how good he's got it. 
I've just come from a meeting at Central and your name came up, Zoe. <laughs> Why didn't you mention they'd let you go? I was never on staff. I worked there as a freelance dietitian. But not anymore. You're inducting someone new into your role. Central wanted someone full-time, including regular nights and weekends. With my son, I can't do that. Is there a problem? They did say your food ideas were a little extreme. Which is why I'm launching them here in a more forward-thinking environment. If we did everything by Central's books, nothing would ever change. I thought they'd taken on your post-op diet plan. A conservative version of, and their readmission rates dropped as a result. If they'd been a little more open-minded, they would have seen even greater success. OK, I think it's time we had a look at this food. Are those your menus? Mm -hmm. I can print them out. Go on better. How about a tasting tomorrow? Tomorrow? We're planning to instigate the new regime next week. Are you not ready? Of course I am. Tomorrow's fine. Where? My place. Lunchtime. Good. We'll see you then. You look busy. I am. Too busy for a coffee break. You got as far as the cafe and changed your mind, huh? Well, I didn't want to interrupt anything. You wouldn't have. Have that if you like. I don't really feel like it. No, I'm all right. We're not, though, are we? I'm sorry. What for? I don't think I really understood how hard Samoa must have been for you. And the whole gambling thing, sometimes I forget what that's like for you. Well, you've had your own stuff to worry about. Yeah, that's no excuse. Oh, uh, sorry. No, it's okay. I just wanted your signature. Oh, we can talk later. Uh, hang on a bit. What's this? It's a peace offering. Uh, Daniel's employer in Jakarta. It took a few phone calls, but I finally got his number out of one of Daniel's tutors. Thank you. Is Daniel going somewhere? He's gone. He left yesterday. This is your Daniel we're talking about? The only Daniel I know, yeah. Well, I saw him this morning. You must have dreamed it, Gerald. No, it was weird enough, but I don't think so. What was weird about it? Well, he was hiding in some bushes. Are you sure it was him? Find me a Bible, I'll swear on it. <laughs> 